I've got one move that you can do using this bucket and a wall that's gonna give you extreme consistency and be able to hit the ball and then the ground time and time again. So let's go ahead and set up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up with this bucket against the wall. Now, I have the luxury here of this just being a corner wall and I can go ahead and make a swing and this club isn't gonna hit it. If you don't have a, a wall like this, just choke up on the club a little bit and you can make a good backswing there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my left hip, the bucket's against the wall, and I'm gonna set up and my head should be tilted slightly behind my golf ball. So what I mean here is if I took a, a club from my nose, my nose should be slightly behind this golf ball. I don't wanna be up here like this. I don't wanna be tilted way back here like that. If I just hung a club from my nose, my chin, the top of my hat, whatever I wanna do, that would be slightly behind the golf ball. So let's go ahead and put a second golf ball there, kinda of where my nose, my chin, the top of my hat would be. So I have a slight tilt away, just like all the pros are doing. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backswing and I wanna rotate my hips and I wanna actually move this bucket on the wall. So as my hips rotate in the backswing, that's gonna roll this bucket, but I'm gonna keep pressure against it. You see what most players are doing in their backswing is they have this hip slide away from the wall, the bucket falls down. When you do that, what happens is your head may start out here, the hips slide away, now my head's way up here, it moves, it moves my sight lines, all that kind of stuff. My weight falls back this way in the downswing, I tend to chunk, to thin it, to hit up on it, not be able to get a consistent divot. All those things are happening from not being consistent with your posture throughout the swing. So again, go ahead and set up here, normal ball position. I have a little pressure against this bucket. My nose is slightly behind the golf ball. From there, I'm gonna rotate to the top. I'm gonna get a good shoulder turn, so I'm letting my hips rotate at least 45 degrees. I'm letting my shoulders rotate at least 90 degrees. And now I've really loaded up behind this golf ball. Now if I was to stay right here at the top of my swing, keep my head still, drop that down from my hat again, it's still right where this golf ball started out at the beginning of this drill. So I've rotated around my spine. You can almost imagine this is my spine angle. I'm rotating around that in a circle, but I'm not swaying and moving around all over the place. Now in the downswing, what happens from here? Well, there's two things. A lot of things that, I, a lot of times I'll see players trying to square up the, the club by rolling the forearms over each other, which is gonna look like this. I stand up, now I lose the pressure off this bucket, and I throw my arms at the, club, or at the ball until the shaft is straight up and down. That's not what the pros are doing. If I take this bucket again in the downswing, I might actually break this. You don't wanna break it, especially if it's your bucket that you own. <laughs> so you wanna go ahead and go to the top of the swing. As I start my downswing, I wanna get closer to the ground with my chest, and I wanna press this bucket into the wall. So this is plastic here, you can see it start to squish. I wanna get my hips to bump a good three or four inches to the left as I start my downswing. And then from there, I'm gonna roll this bucket off the wall, clear my hips, and have shaft lane. Now what I didn't do here is I didn't roll my forearms over each other. That's what I call the anti-roll method. Most players, like I said, will stand up and roll the forearms to try to square the club face, because they've never been taught the right way to square the club face like the pros. Well, I'm gonna show you in this next video, I'm gonna play a preview here in just one second. You can go ahead and click the card anywhere that you see on the screen. I'm gonna show you the right way to get the forearms to, to move like the pros, to get the shaft lean, to really compress the golf ball and square the face up the correct way. So no more flipping the wrist, standing up out of your posture, throwing your arms at it. We're gonna stay down, get shaft lean, nice square face, compressed golf shots. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in an anti-roll method video. So all you need to do, click one of those cards over there. If you don't see that, go ahead and go down to the link in the description below, and I'll show you exactly what to do with your forearms, your wrists, your club, to finally get some lag, to finally get it shallow, to stay in your posture, to get those divots in front. You got your body working right, now let's get your forearms and your wrists working right. You're gonna be swinging just like the pros. Let's go and get started. So here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep. And that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this. There's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. 
instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now, when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, you'll see the face is straight up and down and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,